The graph to the right shows the number of snow shovels sold in winter months at a store in 2010 and 2011. So, in other words, in November, they sold, I don't know what that is, three or two or three snow shovels. And this is the year 2010. The red graph is 2010. In December, they sold 15 snow shovels. January, they sold like maybe 22, whereas the blue graph is 2011. So, that's the difference. Okay, so let's answer the questions here. So, they're saying um, in 2010, the store that sold the most snow shovels was so in 2010 the store that sh that sold the most snow shovels oh I'm sorry the store sold the most snow shovels during what month so 2010 is the red graph the highest is right here that's in January so that's in January in 2010, the store that sold the fewest snow shovels, oh, the store, I keep reading that wrong, the store sold the fewest snow shovels during, when were they lowest? November, right? That's the lowest. The red graph goes, the 2010 graph goes lowest in November. Next, in which year, 2010 or 2011, which year, 2010 or 2011, seems to have had the most snow in the store's locale? Why? Well, it seems like B here. It seems like 2011 because the store sold more snow shovels four out of five months listed. Right? 2011, the blue graph is higher than the red graph. So there's more, you know, the number of snow shovels sold was higher in 2011. All right. Uh, we can't say it's not A because it A said every month. Not quite every month. Right here, the red, uh, the blue is below the red. In December. So other than that, the other four out of five months, it's true. And, um, oh, that's the whole question. Okay, there we go.